All right, YouTube, David Harry here, and in this video, I'm going to show you some serious issues with Genshin Impact on the iPad Pro M1 2021. This is the very latest version that I've just updated to, and it is really bad for dropping frames. Now, just quickly, I want to give a heads up here to, I think it's Killmonger Gaming Off, right? And that's because this person informed me on the 9th, which was yesterday, that the game had actually been updated. So the game's been updated now for a few days, and I was informed yesterday by Killmonger Gaming Off. So thank you very much, Killmonger Gaming Off. Anyway, and I hope I've pronounced that properly. Anyway, so what it is, I now have Genshin Impact on my iPad Pro M1 2021, all massively updated and all that stuff. And yes, the is an improvement in the resolution and I will show that in a different video however that seems to have come at the expense of frame rate so what I'm about to do right now is show you uh, well just show you how bad the frame rate issue is so in the preview window here on, on the monitor for my non-linear editing system here on my video editor I'm gonna start playing it and you'll see straight away it just doesn't look right So as you could see there, even in a small preview area on the screen, you could still see that it was having problems. Now this was all recorded at 60 frames per second, or more precisely 59.94 frames per second because that is the output of the iPad. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do frame advancing, right? And this will show you categorically just how bad this frame rate issue is. Now let me just zoom a bit further into my timeline here. So what it is, we're dealing with this little piece of media here, and this was very specifically recorded just to show you this issue. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go full screen here with the video. Now, if you have a look down here where it says 0, 02, 13, 39, 0, 04, that is what you call a time code. That's basically a SMPTE time timecode. So that's SMPTE time timecode for 59.94 frames per second. Now, these end two digits here, these are the frames. So it's hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So now with that explanation of the SMPTE time timecode, what this means is anytime I record something, if the actual source, as in the game, was playing properly, as a frame advance, we should see unique movements on every single frame which will therefore tell us that the game hasn't dropped any frames however when I frame advance here we will clearly see what's going on so look at these two digits on the end one that says zero four right now and as I frame advance you can see that number increase but what you will notice is that some of the frames remain the same so here we go Okay, so you can see there how severe that is. Now, what I'm gonna do is just to be really clear about this, I'm gonna go through the frame advancing, you look at the numbers, and then what I will do, I'll say, I know what I'll do, I will say frame or drop, and then that will give us a clear indication as to what's going on. Okay, so here we go. Drop, frame, frame, drop, frame, 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 Drop, drop, frame, frame, drop, frame, frame, drop, drop, frame, frame, drop, frame, frame, drop, drop, frame. Okay, so as we could clearly see there, there was a ton of frames being dropped. Now, I've actually done some testing on footage in different parts of the game, and sometimes I've seen four frames in a row dropped. Quite often, I'll see three frames dropped. That's when there's like a lot of like stuff going on on the actual screen, you know, like a lot of rendering or a lot of action. You'll see tons of drop frames, and like I say, up to four in a row being dropped. Now, as soon as you start seeing two being dropped or replicated actually just to be clear about this what it is the frames don't actually get dropped as it were what happens is the frames are replicated and the reason why this happens is because the game or the hardware can't like 
it can't like reproduce the next frame fast enough so what it does it just holds on to the previous frame that it's, it's had rendered in its buffer and then it will throw in the next rendered frame when it's available which basically means if it was going to say take two or three frames to render the next frame it will use the previous frame for two or three frames if it needs to hence why it's basically it, it, it's reproducing frames not really dropping frames anyways let me just kind of whiz through somewhere else onto this little example here let's just see if there's any differences here, if it gets any better if things don't maybe look as busy or as complicated on the screen so once again I'll just go for a new look at the number and see the things moving not move okay now I'm just gonna speed through a little bit here until I get through the doorway there now I'll do the same thing again and I'll go like you know frame drop frame drop and let's see what happens so frame drop drop frame 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 frame drop drop now that seemed to have a pattern to it just then and I'm going to surmise here that what's happening is the hardware is forcing basically a pattern right and a pattern to try and help disguise the fact that the frames are dropping so I think what it's trying to do is give as many frames as it can close to each other so it does look like it's actually like doing it properly and it is 60 frames per second however like I just said well in fact we also seen it just before it was dropping two and dropping one and stuff so it was varying it when we were outside but now that we're inside into this courtyard maybe because the scene is not as complex and there's not as much movement going on maybe it's now trying to stick to like some kind of cadence and stuff so it's trying to like you know make a pattern up which hopefully doesn't look as jarring when it starts running through dropping on a regular basis see what happens is when they drop or when they reproduce on an irregular basis that's when you start noticing it more so it feels to me as if the game or as if the hardware is basically trying to fool you trying to lie to you and it's trying to do it in such a way where like visually it's trying to blag you into thinking that it is okay when it actually isn't anyways i think i've proven this beyond all shadow of a doubt as to what's going on here um and i'm sorry if this has kind of dragged on a little bit because this is just something that you can show in 30 seconds but I like to explain exactly what it is that I'm doing and explain to people the process just so that they fully understand that these things are being done properly. Now, I've seen other people on YouTube doing stuff with Genshin and I don't know how they're doing it, but they're doing some kind of thing where they say that they're capturing and analyzing frames and they're not. So when you start seeing these people who are giving you frame count numbers across a period of time with the game, it's 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 just not right the way the way these people are doing it they're not doing it properly as you can see here I'm using professional interface and professional software and everything and like a very heavy-handed computer just to capture some footage and play it back and the way that I'm doing this is exactly how you do these things so what you do you capture it and then observe it after the capture because what happens is some of these software methods that you'll see people doing to gauge frame rate it's not counting frames properly and in fact I couldn't even tell you what it's doing but it's not doing what it should be doing and the results are not correct because as you can see here these results are showing you that there's very obvious frames being dropped now these frames are not dropped on the system these frames are dropped by the iPad okay so I'll leave it at then at that now and hopefully you know this has been helpful to people and what I will do hopefully maybe today or tomorrow definitely tomorrow if not today I will show a video where I'm going to put side by side 
uh, the M1 against the 2020 and we will see that they now virtually look identical as far as picture quality is concerned and either in that video or maybe another one I will go back and compare footage to the stuff that I captured on the previous version of, of Genshin Impact on the M1 because I still had the footage from the previous version so I can compare the two now and you can clearly see that there definitely is way better graphics in certain areas of it but unfortunately there's no point in having better looking graphics if suddenly the frame rate's gotten even worse anyways yeah i'll leave it at that because i'll just carry on talking like a mad person here so yeah if you're into this stuff then definitely have a look at some of the other stuff that i've done on the channel what it is i'm not a gaming channel although i do some game stuff on this channel um what i do gaming wise on this channel is more like like technical type stuff to do with game and like capture technology or testing things and stuff i do however have a pure geeky game channel where i just like to play stuff and that is the game thing.com so if you're into like techy gamey stuff about the technologies and stuff like that and comparison things on a technical level then maybe have a you know have a look at more of the stuff on this channel or even subscribe to this channel but if you're into more of that like you know more just like mindless playing and just stupidity and stuff then check out the game thing channel and you get to that like i say at uh, the game thing.com anyways yeah i'll leave it at that now i've spoke spoken far too much for something that should only have took five seconds i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now